As Joe Biden shuffles gently out of the limelight following his decision to step back, a whole new dynamic has been brought into this election equation by Kamala Harris. Although endorsed by Mr. Biden and indeed many other prominent Democrats, the current vice president is not the candidate yet. There is a process to be gone through, of which more later. But already her presence seems to be reinvigorating the Democrat campaign. Tonight she was backed by the powerful figure of Nancy Pelosi, the former speaker and leader of the party in the House. While at the same time she poses a whole new set of problems for Donald Trump and his team. Kamala Harris herself paid strong tribute to Joe Biden's presidency today, calling his record unmatched in modern history. But she gave a sense of the scale of the challenge tonight and indeed of its timescale. One day down, she wrote, 105 to go. The weather may not have been with her, but almost every other Democratic voice seems to be. Tonight, Kamala Harris appears to be ascending towards her party's nomination without any serious competition. Thank you, Joe! Thank you, Joe! Joe Biden's exit from this election was greeted with a mixture of gratitude and relief outside the White House earlier. Thank you, Joe! Thank you, Joe! It has upended the politics of America. The race is almost starting anew today. Suddenly, the choice is looking like it will be one of startling contrast. In the grounds of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, enter the woman who now seems more and more likely to face Donald Trump. Kamala Harris was meeting young athletes, but instead of firing the starting gun on her campaign, she simply paid tribute to Joe Biden. His honesty, his integrity, his commitment to his faith and his family, his big heart, and his love, deep love of our country. And I am first-hand witness that every day our President Joe Biden fights for the American people and we are deeply, deeply grateful for his service to our nation. Already key figures in the Democratic establishment, including tonight former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, have endorsed her, with some relishing the prospect of comparing her to Donald Trump. Just consider the following. A prosecutor against a convicted felon. The party heavy hitters are already lining up to heap praise on Harris. Vice President Kamala Harris has excited the community. She's excited the House Democratic Caucus. And she's exciting the country. He didn't adhere and he didn't. The voices of dissent are dwindling, but some are critical of anointing Kamala without debate. It sounds like what was going to be a coronation, you're saying, should be more I of think there should be an, uh, there should be a mini primary. Let the cream rise. There's a lot of good people out there they're talking about. And it would help Kamala, too, if she ends up being that person on the front of that ticket. It would help her strengthen, I think, and maybe moderate some of her positions. But most rank-and-file Democrats in Congress are now calling for unity, dismissing Harris's questionable polling. This is a whole new dynamic. It, now you're not speculating, well, what if she were? No, she is. Now what do you think? Well, she's not quite yet. Well, she's de facto going to be the nominee. It's a done deal, do you think? Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's a done deal. And Republicans already have their attack lines well rehearsed. The one thing you got to remember is that, you know, Biden's terrible record is Harris's terrible record. Kamala was in on it. She Already the Republicans have launched their attack ads, zeroing in on the woman who may now pose a new challenge to their campaign. Look what she got done, a border invasion. Donald Trump's running mate set out a new accusation tonight of a stitch up. The idea of selecting the Democrat Party's nominee because George Soros and Barack Obama and a couple of elite Democrats got in a smoke-filled room and decided to throw Joe Biden overboard. That is not how it works. That is a threat to democracy. Eligible for Since Joe Biden's catastrophic debate performance in Atlanta, the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with... Um, Donald Trump was riding high, his rival repeatedly slipping up when it mattered most. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, 
who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. The perceived problem with Joe Biden's mental acuity that is your judgment. acidly summed up by special counsel Robert Hur. In his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. At 81, he is the oldest president in American history and his five decades of public service have taken their toll. So far, the last public appearance of Joe Biden was as he arrived at his home in Delaware. Stricken with COVID, his political career ended a few days later with the publication of a letter confirming he was pulling out. It was a bolt of political lightning which has electrified this election after a month of the most tumultuous campaigning in a generation. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Washington. So what do we know about Kamala Harris, who tonight looks to be within touching distance of becoming the first black and Asian woman to win the presidential nomination of a major party? She's a political fighter, yes, and her constituency of support could be a big factor. But her journey to the top of American politics has not been the smoothest, and her record in the White House is not without blemish, all of which, were she to be nominated, would no doubt shape the campaign to come. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. Her first attempt to win the presidency was in January 2019, announced on a sunny winter's morning in her native California. I'm running to be president of the people, by the people, and for all people. Despite the euphoria of that moment, it ended ignominiously. Amid staff turmoil, recriminations, and limited traction with voters. It is with deep regret, but also with deep gratitude, that I am suspending our campaign today. The story of Harris's early years is one of immigrant parents seeking a better life for their children. Her mother was a doctor from India who settled in California. When I saw a broken justice system, I became a lawyer. Harris found her opening in law and became a prosecutor and California's attorney general. You ready to go to work? But one phone call changed the trajectory of her life. First of all, is the answer yes? The answer is absolutely <laughs> yes, Joe, and I'm ready to work. Joe I'm Biden's call in 2020, asking her to be his vice president. Deeply honored, and I'm very excited. She is a pioneering female vice president. I Kamala Davy Harris, I solemnly swear. Who also identifies as black and Asian American. One of the men who knows her best is an old boyfriend and former San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown, who tells News at 10 that Harris has a track record of unlikely political victories. I don't think she has any weaknesses. I think we, the Democrats, collectively concluded that Joe Biden may very well not be able to beat Trump. We want to beat Trump. She has consistently, against all odds, won elections. But as vice president, she did have some early stumbles. And her harshest critics often mocked her use of certain phrases. What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? For Harris, a far more significant issue lay on America's southern border. It is her Achilles heel as a candidate, for she was tasked with addressing mass migration, and that has proved a huge failure. More recently, she has focused on being in softer, less challenging environments, like on friendly TV shows. We all need a mom. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now, yeah. but in our country, we need you to be Mamala of the country. Now, in contrast, hostile coverage from right-wing networks is ramping up. Well, democracy is dead in the Democratic Party. The elitist coup led by Washington, D.C., Hollywood elitists, Democratic big money donors, it worked. This epic battle to define the vice president and who she is is now underway. Republicans spending hundreds of millions of dollars trying to destroy her reputation in the ultimate test of her resilience and ability to counterpunch. 
temper tantrum. One old Harris TV ad is already being revived. She prosecuted sex predators. He is one. This is Trump. And in every possible way, this is the anti-Trump. Kamala Harris defended Joe Biden until the end. But now in these new extraordinary circumstances, this second generation immigrant, this West Coast lawyer who became a senator and a vice president, is about to be tested on the biggest stage of all. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington. Well, so many questions tonight. Uh, I could have Dan here for an hour, but we haven't got an hour, so let's just content ourselves with one question for now. Not much of a contest, it seems, in the end, but I guess the key question, what does this change in the campaign? And crucially, maybe what doesn't it? I think we sort of hit a massive reset button uh, today. Maybe not in terms of policy, but in terms of personality. Um, this is going to be a complete change, really. I think there will be two big issues that will be brought forward. I think the Republicans are going to try and emphasise um, immigration. That is the Achilles heel of Kamala Harris. They will see that, you know, she has been the immigration czar of Joe Biden are presiding over record numbers of people crossing the southern border. I think on the other side, the Democrats are, are going to see abortion uh, as a key issue that they can hammer Donald Trump home with and make a much more compelling case uh, from a 59-year-old woman than an 81-year-old uh, man. This is going to be a very, very long, protracted, bitter campaign. We've got the tantalising prospect. Is there going to be another debate? We have no idea. But I think both sides are going to be trying to land those kind of rhetorical punches on each other looking for a knockout blow, it's going to be a roller coaster.